French daily newspaper, claimed that Beijing had been actively seeking skilled French instructors for the carrier landings. Media outlets quoted a former supertendered pilot who served on the French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle. However, French Navy pilots are highly sought after targets because France is the only country with an aircraft carrier using catapults other than the US and China, the report said. The British Ministry of Defense also recently acknowledged that China is recruiting up to 30 former Royal Air Force fighter pilots to train Chinese airmen, according to a source citing the New York Times. Former fighter pilots earn up to $270,000 per year. Following revelations that China had recruited former British and Australian fighter pilots to train its air force, there are now reports in the French media that several former French pilots have also instructed the PLA Navy. China reportedly provides similar incentives to Australian pilots in addition to British pilots. Defence Minister Richard Marlas instructed the Australian Ministry of Defence to look at these reports and issue clear instructions on how to handle the situation. The former pilot was also contacted by a mysterious company based in South Africa. An earlier New York Times investigation also revealed that China hired former British pilots through a private South African-based flight test company. The communist nation currently has a fleet of three aircraft carriers with ambitions to compete with the U.S. Navy in the Pacific. China newly launched aircraft carrier Fujian is equipped with electromagnetic catapults. The U.S. Navy also operates aircraft carriers equipped with electromagnetic catapults. However, the former French pilot pointed out that the Americans were out of China's reach because their secret services were on high alert. The salaries offered are significantly higher than what other air forces, including in Qatar, pay their foreign instructors, demonstrating Beijing's steadfast commitment to speeding up its pilot training amid rising tensions with the U.S. The former naval pilot told Le Figaro that he was offered a three-year contract by the Test Flying Academy of South Africa to train Chinese instructors on-site for around €20,000 a month. However, the new jet pumps require a sealing material that can tightly hold water outside the trench without impeding rotor movement to function effectively. Chinese researchers claim to have found the ideal substance and built a soft sealing structure composed of fine fibers that can meet these specifications. The composition of the substance is precisely classified. The researchers also applied a coating to the ends of the rotor blades to reduce wear over long periods of time. One of the main concerns with this new technology is how well the jet pump performs when the tip of the blade is constantly rubbing the line. The scientists placed the equipment in the water tunnel and measured thrust and vibration at various speeds. They found that the clearance-free jet pump was, in fact, somewhat less efficient than the conventional design at top speeds. But by minimizing the random turbulence that creates drag, the system might generate about 10% greater thrust at lower speeds. In addition, fewer cavitation bubbles are formed when the blade rotates rapidly. According to the test results, the violent vibration strength was found to be between 1 tenth and 35th of a conventional pump jet in a wide frequency range, 